Well, guess what? Guess what I did? Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of This War of Mine, Fading Embers. Yes, that's right. We are back with Anja and Ruben. That's right. We found out that the person who... Well, a complete stranger who passed out at our doorstep, us being Anja, uh, was Ruben. Uh... Crap, what religion is he? A religion that goes to synagogues. Is, is it Jewish? I think Ruben's Jewish, yeah. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm completely doing that completely wrong. I might be... Yeah, completely wrong. Sorry, anyone, if anyone's offended. Anyway, we're back with some more of this, uh... This war of mine, yes. Let's see what needs to be done. Oh, that's right. Anja just came from the massacre at the Samuel Institute, which is next to the synagogue where Ruben was from. That's why I remember. There was a massacre at the Samuel Institute. I saw many dead bodies there. The priceless art artwork smashed to pieces. Uh, these people were no threat to anyone, just to helpful, just a helpful community trying to help find their way through this horror. Why did this happen to them? Yes. Also, we need to... We still need another one of those. Oh crap, can I... I can build a bed. Shit. God damn it! Oh crap, we don't even have any more to warm up this area as well. Ah, oh, damn. Anyway, let's just head on here and talk. Yeah, Ruben doesn't have anything to talk about. On day five, no one is to eat yet. Okay. How are you today? Uh, my wound hurts badly. When I was sneaking out from the synagogue, yes, soldiers saw me and started shooting. I hope you get better soon. How did you end up here? First, I tried to reach our institute, but the army was already there. Damn. Killing my people, destroying our legacy. I ran, bleeding and freezing in the snowstorm. I wandered through a forest. Yes. You got lost? Uh, didn't have a clue where I was, but I knew death was coming. Next thing I remember was lying on this bed with you taking care of me. Thank you. Aw. That was the least I could do. Have some rest now, Ruben. Yes. And no one's to eat yet, and uh, can continue this. God damn, I'm just very tired. Come on, Ruben, come out of that bed soon. Be right back once uh, I'm just finished clearing that. But oh, someone's at the door. Uh, oh, it's not the trader. It's the person who worked at the institute, right? Come on, Anja. Get there soon. Oh, I'm so tired. Good to see you. Can we talk? Yes. Hello, Andrew. Are you okay? Good to see you again. We're alive, but my collection has been damaged during the bombing. Oh no, you lost everything? Only a part. But I don't know if I can keep this uh, safe. Listen, join me at the museum. You'd be safer there, and you could help me secure the ex exhibits. But this is my home, and what about the man I'm taking care of? He's not well yet, and he might not survive the way there. I brought you some meds and food for him. <gasps> I'll be waiting for you in the museum. Try to get there when you think you're ready. Oh my god. Melina brought us some meds and offered a place in her museum. Well, a trip like that can be risky at the moment. We could move there once my companion gets better. And with... Uh, Melena's gift? That task should be easier. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll think about it. Just remember, artworks you keep in your shed might be more precious than life. Our head, our heritage is priceless. Never forget that. Yes, thank you. Oh, damn. All right. Cool. We got meds. Okay, yeah. run here. It's so cold here. Yes, it is. I'm so sorry. Here, these will help you. Nice. Memories of the massacre keep coming back to me. Oh, damn. 
At least you have meds. Nice. All right, off to continue clearing that. There we go. All right, now what's this? Phew, I did it. Yes, you did. Okay. Uh, light and water sculpture put into a box. All right, let's actually read it. An abstract sculpture handcrafted by Amja's grandfather in his later years. In this series of sculptures, he wanted to combine nature's motives with contemporary trends. Oh yeah. So this is light and water sculpture? It looks like a metal cable or something. Put in the box. Alright. Family photo album. Documents. Nice. A uh, collection of family photos documenting their lives several generations. It includes many... Uh, Includes memories of Anja's childhood spent uh, with her grandpa and some rare photos of her parents together. Put in the box. Okay, uh. Sita de Pogarin in Vicena painting. Did we see this? No. No. A Renaissance oil painting of the Pogarin landscape from the so called Golden Age of Vicena. 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 Allegedly uh, commissioned direct directly by a royal council, it's the most valuable painting Anja's family kept in their collection for generations. <gasps> Ooh. What's this mean? Maybe I can do that then. Put this and now secure? I mean, I can come back for the other one, right? Don't tell me I just sacrificed it. Also, again, it seems like I'm just not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Or she might. I don't know. Damn, the temperature. Oh! We don't get to keep the other stuff? I'm sorry, Grandpa's weird looking sculpture. That just looked like a metal cable wire or something. Oh, nice, you can! You'll die if we can't heat it up soon. Mm. Alright, put in the box and secure. I haven't even checked the radio yet. Come on. Come on, Ruben. Damn. Alright, some of our listeners report that the military has been committing acts of violence towards civilians. Spoke spokesman of the military denies. Damn. And that's it. Oh my god. Too many sleepless light nights, yes. We're gonna have to... We might have to make all of this into what we got. Just to stay on. Uh, just to get good temperature. So be right back once I'm just finished doing that. Alright, we put six in. And we still have eight. We're gonna head on over to Tito's place. Oh god. But I'm just just very tired. What the hell is gonna happen? Can she even do it? Oh nice, we're raising up the temperature. That's good. That there's good. Just really just six? Just six? What the hell? Anyway, it is nighttime. Nice. Yeah. Heading up to the neighbor's house. We are to bring one, two, three, four, five. There. I did click on it, right? Please. <laughs> oh god. Alright, hey. Tito! Tito! My neighbor! I am here! I am here, Tito! Holy shit, how are you still alive? Wanja, please tell me you brought some fuel. What the hell? What the hell? I remember it saying five. Were we wrong? You guys must be wondering why this is all repeating all over again. Well, 
guess what? Guess what I did? I restarted the damn day just so I can bring my... I'm sure it wasn't six. No, it must have been. Okay. Yes, there. Thank you, you're saving my life here. I know it wasn't easy to gather fuel and bring it here. Please take some things from my desk. I know it's not much, uh, but that's all I have left. I don't do it for the reward, but I'll try to help you. I hope you'll get better. Yay, request fulfilled. Nice. So, you meaning this? Uh, set of vinyl records, Tito, a, mu a true music enthusiast. Yeah, music, music. Yeah, let's take some. This is something special. Oh, cool, I got it. Is that it? Finally, I can hit my place. Nice. Oh, we can, we can just have more conversations with Tito. Oh, you really have to talk to me when you're on the bed? <laughs> what? It's still chilly, but I'm better now. Thank you, Anja. I'm glad you're feeling better. Is there anything else you need? The fuel you brought me should last for a few days, but I need some food to recover. Alright, Tito. I'll see what I can do. Just one. He just wants one. Okay. Please, I need some food to survive. Okay. Just one food. Strange. I checked well, the stuff he had in there, right? Yeah, there's nothing else. There's nothing else in this place. So this is a, just keep going back and forth to Tito and helping him. What's in your fridge? What stuff do you have? Oh yeah, just that. And also, you, you can't go through here, right? Yeah, goddamn. Well, that's it, really. That's all we can do. Let's head on back to a day six. A food eating day, nice. Hmm. And it just showed on Anja's little character portrait that she's content. You're gonna be really tired. <laughs> like, you're already really tired, but now you're exhausted. Horrible times, everyone is constantly hungry and cold. Yes. Angela looks exhausted, maybe we are pushing her too hard, yeah. Angela has been searching for supplies, yeah. You hmm. got stuff. Oh, damn, you can't really do much stuff. Okay, you're hungry. Eat the food. Oh, we don't have a meat. Oh my god. We don't have meat? That's what he's requesting. Oh. Crap. Hey, let's talk. Getting better, Ruben? I think so, but how are you dealing with all this? I'm used to being on my own, but it's actually nice to have someone around for a change. Uh, you were here alone, even before the war? My parents died when I was a little child. Grandpa raised me. But he passed shortly before the war. Sorry to hear that. At least he didn't have to see his, uh, everything going to hell. He was a very sensitive man with an artistic spirit. Was he an artist? A local one. He sculpted and painted mostly traditional motifs. He left me with a great collection. It brings me many memories. I hope he'll show me uh, some of it when I get better. Sure thing. You better get some rest then. Alright, uh, you're just normal sick. You still can't get up. God damn it. Alright, feed him. And then give him some herbal meds. Yes. Nice. We're probably gonna have to let Anja sleep in for today. And I'm guessing nothing much will happen today as well. Uh, also, restock the heater so it's six. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's done. Check the radio. If there's nothing, we'll just. Oh, you can run! Yeah, you can run. Good job. Nothing new. Just stock up the fire and then. Um, 
I won't skip the day. We'll just wait till something important happens. I'm not sure what important things will happen. There you go. And that's it. Yeah, you can't add any more. And damn, that was all our fuel as well. Anyway, yeah, just be right back. And we're probably just gonna skip to days, day uh, night six because there's nothing much we can really do. There we go. Oh, there's new stuff. Mm. Yeah, as I said, we're gonna stay the night. But yeah, abandoned house. There are rumors about a group of bandits using this abandoned house as a hideout. It might be worth sneaking in for supplies, but you'd have to be very careful. That I didn't even see the danger bit. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, we're staying. We're in sleep. Off now to day seven. Lubin got out of bed today. He's eager to help in the daily struggles for survival. Oh my god, Ruben. And you were super tired. Come on, you're probably gonna have to talk to each other now, right? Whee! Hey. What? Where are you going, Ruben? Where are you going? What's Ruben doing? Are you gonna talk? I thought you were gonna talk to her. I'm so I'm I'm so confused. Anyway, I guess I think I interrupted their to better with every passing day. Nice. Ruben, you can't really do much as there is nothing to do. What's this? Oh, it's just it's moving very, very slowly. <gasps> Trigger time! Oh my god. Hey, we're getting rid of the cogs and tobacco and shell casings and bullets. As we can't really do anything with it. Go! Woohoo! Where's someone outside? Yeah. Yes, we are. Um. Okay. Getting rid of all these. I do not use it. Yes. There. And that. Okay. Need a single piece of that. Oh, it is just too damn impressive. Yep, I know it is. Ooh, nice. Awesome fuel. Um, use that. Huh, mixer. And a vegetable as well. Okay, damn, it's still pretty good. Okay. Let's try start. Oh. Ooh. No. Too much. No. Too much. Bees. Oh. Okay. Yeah, boom. And uh, talk. How's the situation in the city? Well, it seems to be harder than ever. This harsh winter is driving people to the edge. The, uh, the army attacks uh, are more frequent and brutal every day. You mean the bombardments? Not just them. The soldiers have started uh, to enter the city now. <gasps> They're carrying out cleansing raids. Targeting churches and other important places. Damn bastards. It's like the Bosnian massacre. That's what I was thinking of before. Uh, last night, the city uh, hall fell. It was turned into ash. That's terrible. How long can our people carry on like this? Honestly, I don't know. It's really bad. People are freezing and starving. Soon, I won't have anything to trade or people to trade with. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Nope. Close that door. Also, Ruben, go check on the radio. Something uh, might be on. Temperatures are still very low in besieged Pogren. Firewood is getting harder to come by, and people are gathering anything that can be burned. Oh, no, shit, what am I doing? There's probably more. Oh, after a night of heroic efforts, volunteer firefighters withdrew from the. From the fire at the city archives, oh no, which is now raging out of control. Thankfully, the most valuable documents and 
Most important records were evacuated before the bombardment. Damn. Alright, now it's just music. There you go. Uh, go get yourself some meds slightly now. Nice. How is... Not now, just normal tired. Good. Good. There we go. Head on up and uh, add more fuel to the fire. All of it. Add all of it to the fire. These heaters can go up to three. Alright, six. There we go. There we go. And uh, that's it. That's all we can do. And now we'll just slowly see the temperature go up very slowly. Uh, I just brought Ruben over here to see the stuff. I thought there would be like a dialogue or something like, wow, this is all her collection. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, we'll just stand here and wait till the day ends. Hey, it's becoming nighttime. Also just realized uh, Tito's house has a locked back door. I wonder why it's locked. I'm gonna bring a lockpick. As well as the singular piece of meat. You can't go out to scavenge, okay. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta sleep in bed. Head over here. Uh, prepare. This. This. There. Nice. Alright. There's nothing else he's gonna ask for, right? Boom. Let's go see. Let's go see what happens when we give Tito this piece of meat and also what happens when we unlock unlock that uh, back door. Hey, finally, I'm warm. Thank you so much. Did you get any food? Yes. Thank you, Angie. Anja. Good neighbor, yay. You're saving me once again. You're such a kind person. That's so rare these days. That's fine. I just wanted to help. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Alright, can I, uh... Unlock this. Nice. Let us... What is on the other side? These be like materials or something. Ooh, nice. Nice. Materials. Oh my god. Thank you. I need this to make fires. <laughs> And maybe a spare bed. No, nope, we're not getting the stuff we need for a bed. So, uh, Tito doesn't have anything else he wants now? God damn, that is a lot of materials. Nothing else you want, Tito? Hey, Tito. Uh, go sit down so we can talk? Or was that achievement like it? Finish. Guess that was it. There's nothing else in this house other than the stuff that says steal, and we're not gonna do that. That is evil. We are Tito's neighbor. Nice. Tito is like an uncle. Because that's what Tito means in Tagalog. Terrifying how fragile human life is. Yes. But knowing we might have just saved one of them is quite uplifting. Oh. Oh, night was calm. Nice. No bio entries, nothing new. Okay, yeah. Uh, you are tired, you go there. You can craft a uh, fuel. Goddamn, it's day eight. It's eating day. Yeah, let's make four. Eat a bunch of vegetables. <laughs> Eat like two vegetables. And uh, see if that fills you up. Then also check the radio, restock the fire, other stuff. And uh, well, Ruben's alright now. Is this gonna be the end of today's episode? Because, um, I mean, we can go to the museum. Still hungry? Okay. Have another. Yeah, we can go to the museum now that uh, Ruben's feeling all good. 
Nice. Alright, check radio. Oh, someone's at the door. Alright, uh, check radio first. Nothing. Oh, that's the music. Oh, you're listening to Radio Pogarin. We forgot to announce that our colleague Jovan died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. He will be missed. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, and that's it. Put on some music. Alright. Uh, Anja is still sleeping. Let's have Ruben answer the door. Good to see you. Can we talk? Yes. Hello. Hello, I'm glad to see you're better. What? Oh, no. Oh my god. Anja, let's talk. Oh. So. God damn it. I screwed that up. Alright, someone's at the door. Yeah, Anja has to be the one to do it. <laughs> what the hell? Don't want to talk with a new guy? Hello, Anja. Did you consider my offer? I did, but with Ruben still recovering, I wasn't ready. Listen, the situation is getting worse every day. The army is targeting cultural landmarks. Oh no. They want to break our spirit and erase our culture. And what could I do about it? I'm, I'm just one person struggling to survive. We have to do all we can. I'm sure your grandpa would agree with me. I suppose my grandpa would want me to be safe. Yeah. Are you safe here all by yourself? My offer still stands. Take as much as you can and join me in the museum. Nice. That I think we will. Perfect for tonight. Melina was here again to remind me of her proposal. Yeah. Uh, Melina. Melina. That's right. Yeah. She was very firm this time. It seems to me that she cares about the exhibit in her museum more than anything. My situation here is getting more and more difficult. Moving with her might be my only hope. Yes, it might be. Oh, you as well. Melina came by once again. She insists that we move to the museum and help her protect Pogren's heritage. It's up to Anja to decide, but I'm afraid this might be our best chance to survive. Yes, it might. Alright, you're hungry. Eat that. Ruben saved you it, while he ate, uh, vegetables. <laughs> oh, cool, you are content. Nice. Now, um, yeah, there's nothing much we- Oh, crap, that's right, Ruben, go fill up the fire. Forgot about that. Seems like this might be the end of the day's, uh, this might be the end of the series. As in, uh, Fading Embers. It's like, only two episodes, goddamn. There you go, nice and nice and stocked six. After we stay up here in case uh, it goes out again. Anyway, yeah, nice. So we'll be right back when it's nighttime and see what we can do when we're heading to the what you call it uh, museum. <laughs> All right, time's ticking. I hope it is the end, but I also have this strange feeling it's a trap. Now that Melina seen Ruben, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, let's let's see what happens. I don't know what happens. Is it a trap, or is it the end? Leaving home. Ruben might be well enough to survive the journey to the museum. Change sh What? Are she want to move now? You won't be able to come back. You will take your family collection to the museum, yes. Oh crap, and everything. Change shelter. Oh my god, really? Day 9, Diary, my dear Ruben. Holy shit. Whoa! I didn't know this was a... Th oh, this is awesome. Changing shelter, goddamn. Ah, that's cool, that's cool. Nice. Alright. This is new home now. Also, where I'm probably gonna end today's episode. Oh my god, there we go. 
Mortar shells uh, fell from the sky, terrorizing the besieged city as Anja and Ruben made their way to the Museum of Pogren, ducking into the cover of, shell of shattered houses. When a fresh barrage whistled overhead, they weaved around the bombed uh, craters as they managed to safely move Anja's collection and a handful of necessities. Leaving their home was not easy, but Anja felt it was their best chance of survival in this new shelter. A new challenge awaits. Oh, new challenges awaited. Melina, who talked her into moving in, was doing all she could to secure the artworks collected in the museum. She lived on the premise with Zoran, her loyal friend and former janitor, who had. Oh, that's not something to laugh at. <laughs> janitor, nice. Uh, who does his best to help her? Crap, we got four people. Uh, but she could definitely use another pair of hands. Oh, ooh, damn. Damn, we get to do more stuff. We're not yet ending. <laughs> Anja, I'm so glad you changed your mind. Oh my god, I spat onto my screen. Huh. I know it must have been hard to leave your home behind. It was even harder than moving through Pogren with my collection. I still have a lot of doubt about my decision. Trust me, you're much safer here. All right, yeah, and you can do a lot of good for our city. I see you brought some of your things with you. Uh, we took as much as we could fit in the cart. Nice. But having to push it through the snow didn't make it any easier. What counts is that you both made it and we can start working. Nice. Leave it here and uh, leave it here for now and come with me. I'm going to show you what we've what we're doing here. Okay. Oh. Okay, shit. Um, crap. Um, I hope this saves and moves on, because uh, this is where I'm leaving us off. Thank you all for watching today's episode of This War of Mine. If not, then I'll just have to redo that, uh, what's it, like, day eight, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and goodbye for now.